Hey guys, stay tuned for the rest of this video and I'll show you how I fitted the door lock on the Ranchero. Now, just where that clip is there, that's got to be released and slide to, or move to the left to unclip that rod that goes into the door lock. That's the rod there, out of the back of that. And the next part is to get this clamp out, which is just a spring clip, but that's got to come out. So I'll slide that out to the side and that should release the lock. And that's what the pin looks like when it comes out. Now that's just a spring clamp, goes in that way, forces the lock back in, holds it in the place on the truck door. So that's out. So now we should be able to just pull the lock away. Come out of there. Come out. And as we can see, there's no rubber gasket on there at all. But the lock is now out of the door. And this is the bit for the new lock. We've got the lock itself, which slides into the door. Obviously that goes on the outside of the door. There's a rubber gasket, a very small, very thin rubber gasket, which will go on the inside of that, on this side. So that'll slide on before that goes in the door. And then there's this clamp, very similar, similar to a brake line clamp that goes on as well just to help hold it in place and of course the keys now where that hole is there this is the bit that turns so you can see the motion of that as it turns now that hole there is where that rod goes through that's inside the door so that's the old lock that came out that's the new lock it's going to go in so we'll just make sure we take this little white clamp off of there so that's got to come off there. As you can see, I'll just squeeze the wood, push that out. We'll drop it from the back and drop into the new lock. And then we can get the new lock in. So I've got the uh, the clamp out. I'll just squeeze those four pins together, push it out from the back and push it in the new one. And then what I've got to do is get that lock back in the door. And in order to do that, I'll just stand that up there for a minute. We'll take this rubber gasket, slide that over the top of there, and over the top of the lock, and then we'll go and get the lock back in the car. Okay, so we've got the lock ready to go in, rubber gasket's on, and it's simply a case of putting that through there. in the right position. Put the lock in the door. There we go. That's in. I'll take it back on the inside of the door and we'll get that pinned in properly. So that if you can see that's the lock in place. We've got the new bracket in there as well if you can see that. I just slid that into place, tapped it with a hammer a couple of times and it went uh, it went straight in. So that's all in. The lock's now nice and secure, can't move. And it's just a case of reconnecting that rod that's down there in the background. I can get my finger at that from here and you can see it. So that there's just got to go through that hole and be clamped into there. That's the door lock done folks. Now what I've got to do, when I took the door cord off, as you can hopefully see, there's a bit of corrosion starting down there. Now it's not actually going all the way through the door as yet. And you can see there is some stone chip type stuff on the inside of the door. But it is starting to show its age. It's not bad for a 1975 vehicle. However, we still want to protect that. So what I'll do is I'll clean out the bottom of the door and get all these little fragments of stuff that's lying around in there. There's a bit there I can see. What's that? I've no idea what that is. It looks like some form of under seal. It's obviously peeled off from somewhere in the door. So we'll get all of this cleaned out and then uh, I think we'll give it a quick spray with some form of rust proofing. And then we'll, uh, we'll be able to protect that door. Oh, there it is. That's where that's come from. 
it looks as though previously the door's been under sealed on the inside I don't know if that will focus that's actually just peeling off so we'll get something in there because the last thing we want so I can get a better I can't get a better view of that for you unfortunately but the last thing we want is for that corrosion to be spreading and destroying the door so we'll clean all this out as much as we can and then uh, get it all sprayed and protected on the inside before we put the door card back on in that patch there now uh, the lip is um original factory sound deadener or possibly some form of under seal but i think it's more like sound deadener now behind that in that bit there where it's all flaked off that was all going rusty so i gave that a quick sand down and then just painted it with some rust proofing paint it's inside the door it's halfway up the door so it's it, it's going to work the way we want it to so i've given that a coat with some rust proofing paint that bit there is just busy drying now the other thing whilst the uh, the door was apart that i thought would be worth looking at is the bottom of the door now the bottom of the door inside as you can see where that's all wet there i just squirted some oil in there some old oil i had lying around as you can see it's all the way through got it into all the seams so we're going to make sure that none of the seams break open because of any rust in them now it's filled everywhere and up the sides as well in there so you can see it up the sides of there uh, you've got to be careful with this fellas and fellarettes you've got to be careful with this now if you're going to do this put some sand down on the ground because you do tend to get a little bit of a leak through the drain holes especially if you clear your drain holes so what you want to do is get a bit of sand down there catch all the oil that's going to leak out because it is going to leak out and then all we've got to do now Let's get the door card back together, get all the hardware on. So now that we've got the door lock replaced, it's time to put the door back together. And we'll do that one in part three. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.